Here's some hats uh, Toshiko Endo made me. They're lovely hats. Boy, when it's cold, they do the job. Well, Toshi, I was helping this lady named Isabel Shaw for many years, and toward the end when this Isabel Shaw got rather sick, Toshi was her neighbor, and she used to come over and help her, just go to the store and buy things and do little things Isabel couldn't do because she was sick, and I got to be fond of Toshi, and so when Isabel died, I just kept being friends with Toshi. And she's just, she's just my little pal, that's all. She's a little bit nutty, but she's great. I don't know what happened to make Toshi uh, go off the beaten path and become uh, the person she is, which is a really fascinating, but sort of by society standards, a nutty person. Many various factors, some tragedies in her family and the like, but I just like her the way it is. she is. She was living in her sister's place, and I don't think her, her, her family wanted to take care of it. They, they, so they let the place get run down. They didn't want to put any money into it. And they had two sisters living there, so they could kind of let it go to hell, and no one would complain. They couldn't rent it to normal people. They would have had to do a lot of work and put in a lot of money. And so she's lived there for years and years and years while it's deterior deteriorated. Um, Mike Kirkland and myself even had to put on part of a roof because it was just really pouring in her place and it rained. And now they're selling the place and they're just they're kicking it out. In fact, the, the house has been condemned. The house is condemned. And they're selling it. But boy, luckily, I, I just make calls here from the office every day and run and get some forms once in a while during lunch or whatever, and we finally found her a place. And there's a good possibility we'll be going in there today to get the last little bit of her stuff. There ain't no light. I'll have to get you a lamp. A lamp for the front room. The, the lamp is in Salt Lake. I don't look too good. Play it for us, Toshi. <laughs> destroyed by Bobby because there was a pipe here that was broken, the water broke. But he did not come back and fix it. And that's the way they be. I fell down these steps once there, Ricky. Right there where he's at now, he's trying to get up and he couldn't. He, he, he uh, kind of struggled right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
and it pulled it out and it's been up there since. So we've got to change that water, it's getting a little dirty. Yeah. Here's the kitchen. No more. This is what the kitty did. Kitty did it again. There. Oh, look what they've done. <laughs> the kitties. <laughs> the kitty ate the head, and I found one just laying on the floor. The kitty ate the head? Remember I told you? Yeah. And I got the blame for this all. Boy. I think so. That's why we had to get out. This has a kitty with a telescope and a bird on its head. This is Raisin Jack. I happen to have a barrel of it back there now I can show you. I make wine out of raisins and then also some honey and brown sugar. And then when the wine is done, I freeze it. I freeze the wine and pour it off. And uh, a lot of the water is left behind and what I get is a, a much stronger wine, like more like port or even uh, uh, liqueurs. I have a glass every two or three days. It's very difficult to make and very time consuming. I don't drink it all the time or I couldn't have a steady supply. I have a, a glass before bed every two or three days. Uh, I'm not a drinking man anymore. In fact, I never was a drunk. I made my own mead and I sipped it too much. I kind of sipped it all afternoon and into the night. I was just at my home listening to music and playing the banjo and sipping wine. And it's known as, as hobos and uh, bums doing this, making the Raisin Jack. Uh, here's a piece of uh, a head jug I made from scratch. I have a plug in it and uh, some wax to stop it as well. So in the future, this will be full of a very uh, delicious Raisin Jack. I was going to fill this with Raisin Jack too. And this says, this stuff makes me horny. It's just a joke because of his hair, his spiky hair. Here's another little jug filled with Raisin Jack. And this is the I Believe in Ghosts head jug. It has the words to a song on one of my CDs. Well, I believe in ghosts, but they don't make me scared. You know, when I was a kid, I kind of had the impression you just sort of grew up and you had a home. I was always hoping I could have some dump to put all this stuff, but I'm a pretty incompetent guy at swinging things through this world. Or maybe it's destined to always be in a storage unit.